So when looking at the most enjoyable, nostalgic and attractive Mario Kart tracks, Rainbow Road would probably be the first to come to mind. Many Rainbow Roads are the saving graces of a Mario Kart game, and although some were great, others weren't the best. So in today's video, we'll be wrecking the 8 unique Rainbow Road tracks in every Mario Kart game, meaning no retro tracks are eligible for this list. Before beginning this video, we would like to give a shout out to GhostThickBoy8385 Plays and Pro Errors for commenting down below. Their channel links will be in the description below. Also, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be reminded when we upload a video. We would love to hit 200 subscribers by the end of August. Without further ado, let's get started. Starting off our list at number 8, we have Rainbow Road from Mario Kart 64. If we were ranking these courses off of aesthetic and music only, this course would rank the highest on the list, but unfortunately, there were some major flaws. The first being the length of the track. This track is extremely long and takes around 5 minutes to complete, which is a ridiculous amount of time. Second, the track is filled to brim with annoying rails, making it remarkably easy. Lastly, the track is really boring with only a few turns and jumps. Like we said earlier, the course exceeded in a couple of areas, which just goes to show how good Rainbow Road tracks are. With no doubt being the most overused Rainbow Road track in the Mario Kart series, at number 7 we have SNES Rainbow Road. This track's difficulty is much harder than 64's Rainbow Road, being both fun and annoying. The main issue with this track is its short length. If you take a hit or fall off the track once in this stage, you can pretty much kiss first place goodbye. Also, in this track there are no rails at all, making it a lot more chaotic, which is a good thing. The reason this track ranks higher than 64's Rainbow Road is because it is much more fun to drive through. This track would have ranked a lot higher on the list if it wasn't reused more than two times. Coming in at number 6, we have Mario Kart Super Circuit's Rainbow Road. We are giving this course a number 6 spot, not because it's bad, but because it doesn't do anything special throughout the track. This Rainbow Road sort of combines the previous two on the list to form a better version. The track has some sharp turns like SNES Rainbow Road, and combines that with the length of N64 Rainbow Road. Obviously, there is still a huge comparison, but it's much longer than SNES Rainbow Road. Also adding the fact that there is a neat shortcut, a few fun jumps and a stunning background makes this Rainbow Road pretty average. Coming in at number 5 we are Mario Kart 8's Rainbow Road. Now this Rainbow Road goes above and beyond with the background and the difficulty was actually quite challenging in the first half. It also has a unique part of the track where you glide into a space shuttle filled with speed boosts. But then the second half of the track is a big letdown. The first being the split path. With an optional route, you're not going to find a whole lot of people on the same path as you, making the difficulty quite easy. The second is the shortcuts. There is a part of the track where you can literally jump from one path to another, making it a blast. Although this seems good, it's something we hate because it doesn't give the player the opportunity to enhance the beauty of certain sections of the track. Overall, the first half of the track was great, but the second was unfortunately not. Coming in at number 4, we are Mario Kart DS. Now this is the first Rainbow Road that you are guaranteed to have a blast while driving through. There are speed boosts, a stunning background, insane jumps and catchy music. The reason why this course is number 4 though, is because it just feels like another Rainbow Road track. We know it capitalises in a lot of areas, but unfortunately the track doesn't have a big wow factor that makes it stand out. And it's unfortunate because it was the only major flaw with the track. To see how positive we are talking about this Rainbow Road, just goes to show how good the next three are. Coming in at number 3, we have Mario Kart Double Dash's Rainbow Road. This has everything Mario Kart DS Rainbow Road does, but better. This track goes in all different directions, filled with huge jumps, sharp turns, and the colour of the ground rapidly changing. By far the most unique features in this Rainbow Road are the Mario Kart items in the sky and the huge tunnel towards the end of the course, sending you flying in the air. Unlike previous Rainbow Roads we have talked about, this one gives you multiple things to remember. Not to mention that in Mario Kart Double Dash, you actually have two people in one car, making it more fun and chaotic. This is the first track to have no faults whatsoever, but it ranks number 3 because of how well the next two capitalised. Now Mario Kart Wii is our favourite Mario Kart game, and it sure is home to one of our favourite Rainbow Roads. Mario Kart Wii's Rainbow Road is second on this list. Falling rocks, rainbow rings, floating stars, a giant hole of death and a rainbow tunnel are just some of the amazing features in this rainbow road. 
Not to mention that this Mario Kart game is home to tricks, which means you can pull off some amazing moves and jumps while in air, all while gazing at the stunning starry background. This Rainbow Road track stands out, not only from the detail and mechanics, but because it feels like an adventure. Every 10 seconds you were entering a new stage of the track, and we loved it. Before we unveiled our number 1 spot, we would like to give an honourable mention to all the Rainbow Roads that already appeared in Mario Kart titles. We wanted to keep this list unique, so we didn't feel right ranking those tracks. Without further ado, here is our favourite Rainbow Road track. We're gonna be honest, Mario Kart 7 is one of our worst Mario Kart games, but by golly, it features the best Rainbow Road in Mario Kart history. Coming in at number 1 we have Mario Kart 7's Rainbow Road. The first lap starts off with a few turns of jumps and a huge bounce off of a rainbow mushroom. The lap 2 begins and all of a sudden you are driving on the ring of Saturn. After you return to ground, you zoom across speed boosts and then you feel the floor shaking. One thing leads to another and you are driving on the moon. That's right, an actual moon with moon craters and a chain jump running wild. Lap 3 begins and oh goodness, the music is amazing. This song gives you the motivation to reach the finish line, even if you are 8th place. You then drive through a spinning tunnel with speed boots, glide through the air and drive through a relaxing road until you hit the finish line. This track is not only unique because of the concept, but because it doesn't have repeated laps. Also the background is absolutely phenomenal. In our opinion, this is the best Rainbow Road track and our favourite Mario Kart 7 track of all time. Now to the outro. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, consider liking and subscribing to the channel as we are aiming to reach 200 subscribers by the end of August. Before we end this video, we would like to give a shout out to LolaDan972, GamePro and Lewinberger Thomas for being our latest subscribers. If you would like a shout out, just subscribe to the channel and comment down below you did so. For now, have a fantastic day, stay safe and we will see you in the next video.